What is up guys, it's your boy Nathan, we're back with another video, UFC 278, Leon vs Usman 2, the rematch, 7 years in the making, I will be doing a watch along for this guy, so please come and join me, and with further ado, let's get into the picks. Open the card, we have Tyson Pedro from Australia taking on Harry Hansaka, Tyson Pedro has been coming off of a 3.5 year long layoff, he fought recently earlier in the year, got the win, he's taking on Harry Hansaka. Lost both his fights in the UFC by KO. Tyson Pedro is a bit of a knockout artist. He likes to finish his fights and I think this is going to be no different. I predict Tyson Pedro to win in two rounds. Then we have a battle of ranked heavyweights. We have rank 11 Marcin Taibura from Poland taking on rank 13 Alexander Romanov from Moldova. Alexander Romanov 5-0 in the UFC. 3 subs, 1 KO. We have Marcin Taibura coming off of a high profile loss against Alexander Volkov which is no mean feat. I have a feeling that Alexa uh, Alexander Romanov is going to use his wrestling, he's going to wear out Marcin Taibura and he might get a TKO on the ground or, or wrap up a submission. Uh, Marcin Taibura is no slouch on the ground but I think Ro Alexander Romanov is going to be too much for him on the ground and that's where I see the, the match finishing. Then we have a couple of uh, top ranked contenders in the bantamweight division. We have third ranked Jose Aldo, the former UFC featherweight champion, 3-5 winning streak taking on the machine from Georgia. Uh, Marab Dwalishvili, 7 fight win streak, 6 decisions. To me, this fight's going to go the distance, and uh, because that's what they are, that's their recent win streaks have determined that. And uh, it's going to be tough to put away uh, Jose Aldo. Marab uh, Dwalishvili has an inexhaustible tank and he loves to use wrestling. Jose Aldo, especially during his championship run, was known for his uh, takedown defense. If Jose Aldo can turn back the clock, have that fantastic takedown de defense, he will pick apart Merab Dwalishvili. However, I don't see the Georgian getting tired, so it's going to be a tough night for Jose Aldo. I think it's going to be Dwalishvili by decision. Paulo Borsinia Costa taking on Luke Rockhold, former UFC middleweight champ. They're both of two fight losing streaks. Paulo Costa started with a wonderful 13-0 before losing back-to-back -back fights. Luke Rockhold has been away from the sport in a while, but he is also on a two-fight losing streak. Paulo Costa is putting his ranking on the line. He's ranked number 6 currently in the middleweight division. Luke Rockhold's idea is to beat him and get the title fight. Luke Rockhold needs to use his length, needs to use his kicks, and he needs to keep Borshinia away from him. Because Borshinia has bombs in his hand, and he cannot take those bombs. He has been finished at least three times, I believe, in his last four fights. And he needs to stay away from that no matter what. However, Luke Rockhold's advantage is on the ground. He has world championships in Gi and no Gi on the ground in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's a very high level black belt which he refuses to use. He puts his hands down, walks forward, he used to fight arrogantly but he has claimed that he has made changes to his training. So it's going to be interesting to see what he, is he going to take, die for the takedown straight away, wrap him up, call it a night quickly because that's his avenue to win. If he stays away from Bohashinia's power punches, I think Luke Rockwell gets this win by submission. Then we have the main event. We have the Nigerian Nightmare, the defending welterweight champion. Going to going for a, a 16 and 0 winning fight streak, tying Anderson Silva for longest uh, continuous winning streak in the UFC. Uh, we have Kamaru Usman taking on Leon Edwards. They both fought seven years ago. Leon Edwards hasn't lost since his first fight with Kamaru Usman. He has uh, amassed a massive nine wins and one no contest in his last ten fights. In the in between the seven years they have fought. Kamaru Usman has gone on to win the welterweight title and defended it, I believe, four times, five times. Uh, he's closing in on the title defenses. He's closing in on Anderson Silva's unbeaten record. I do not see how Leon Rocky Edwards can win this fight. Kamaru Usman has sharpened his striking with the help of coach Trevor Whitman. And uh, he is not the wrestler they fought. They were, they were not, they are not the same fighters they were seven years ago. But Kamaru Usman has definitely polished his striking a lot more in the last seven years. And I can't see an avenue in which Kamru Usman loses. So I'm going to predict the champ Kamru Usman uh, decision. Like the video guys, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.